Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with T N T Dynamite Explosive with Jonas. You're the man on the stick. Dude, I got the stick. We're playing Madden 20. The Dolphamite saga continues. This is the mother effing AFC championship game. Oh, man. <laughs> we had a chance to go to the Super Bowl, man. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to get there. Super Bowls, dude. I'm pretty confident in the team that we have of the Dolphins. Yeah, dude. I mean, you're on there, so that's like that's what's important. Yeah, it's an all um, I'm on there. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the guy that looks nothing like me? That just what's his name? TNT Dynamite. His name is actually TNT Dynamite. Your uh, characterization as a football player. I wonder if there's another Joe Pesci out there. Like a real like he looks just like Pesci, but his name's like Tony Smith. I mean, he doesn't even look Hello, like Joe Pesci. He's, he's just like he's like edition. some Indian guy, and I mean that like. Oh, and his name is Joe Pesci. He's, he's from India. Oh, I got you. Whoa, and, and he <laughs> works. He's from India. He works at like a factory, and he's like, I come to your country, and my name is Joe Pesci. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess that's probably possible. Yeah. It's raining. That's awesome. Um, so TNT Dynamite. The last uh, we started uh, just pulling out a random topic and going with it for the episode. So, what are we uh, starting with today, friend? Let's talk about Milch, Jonas. Oh, Milch. Milch? Yeah, Jonas, because I'm tired of these women who are of a certain age not getting the credit that they deserve, Jonas. Well, yeah. Dude, Jennifer Lopez is 97 years old, and she's hot as heck. That's more like a gilf, dude. And if you can wow, <laughs> Jonas! I mean, I'm, I'm not like trying to be ugly, but you don't like, know if she even has. You don't even know if she has grandchildren. Yeah, but she's of age to be potentially a guilt, dude. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't oh, oh, we fumbled on that. It's five, dude. Our team is, dude. Our team, dude. What are you talking oh, dude, about? Our team, dude. What are you talking Listen, about? like. You like yeah, I guess technically you could be seventy and be a milf. Yeah. But you could also be a milf at eighteen. No, I feel like once you start looking gilfy, that's when you or when you start about how you look, not your actual like status as like a mother or a grandmother. Yeah, dude, it's a hard G. If the what G is like the, hard, the capital G. <laughs> yeah, if it's a capital okay. G, then you're capital you go. G. Okay, let me ask you this. What, what if you're thirty five years old and you don't have any children? Are you a milf? No, at 35, can you be a MILF? I guess it depends I mean, on your if own you age. Have a, if you are a mom, you can be a MILF at any age. You yeah. can be 18 years old and be a MILF. Hopefully you're 18 years old. I, mean, I, just, I watched what I was saying. Eight, yes. 19 years old, Jonas. Let's be safe. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just be safe. Fair. <laughs> yeah, dude. So, I mean, you technically could... I mean, so... Is it is it the status as a parent or grandparent? It, or is it the age? I've always felt it was age-gated. Really? I thought yeah. it was, like, determined by, like, you actually have children. Yeah, I guess, in essence, that's the... Oh, he tiptoed it. He didn't go through the wall. No. They're getting better. They're yeah, I noticed. Good. I noticed. I, yeah. I guess uh, that is the genesis of the term. Right, yeah. I mean, so, yeah, I guess... Oh, they're reviewing it, dude. I guess, yes, you have to have a kid to be a MILF. But on the same note, if a woman, a little piece of them clipped through the wall. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's an elbow, dude. Before, if, the whole body went through. If you're a 40-year-old woman and you don't have any kids and you're unmarried, guess what? You're still a MILF. Okay, so, like, it's, it's like... 100%. So, there's, like, it's like a... It's like those diagrams where there's two circles and there's an overlap in the middle. Mm -hmm. Like, because it could be age yeah. or kid. Really. Okay, <laughs> like, yeah, that's right. I got you. Okay. I the thing you is, know. is that, is it really something for us to do at our age, Jonas, to be calling people <laughs> MILFs? Does that term even work with us? And to us, a MILF is going to be a GILF. To us, just about anyone we're going to try to, like, date or be with is probably a MILF anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I say that it's kind of age gated because to me now a MILF is like a Jennifer Lopez because she is 152,000 years old wow. and I still think she's hot. She's an attractive lady for being pushing 60. Marissa Torme. Oh my, we're going to get a safety. Jonas, that's not working for me. That's, I had no control over that. <laughs> that's not going to work for me. My FNG, dude. It's all right, man. As long as they don't score hey, here. It's five to seven. Look at us really hammering right. down on the tips. <laughs> That's all right, man. It's all right. 
is scoreboard. Yeah, dude. I, well, I guess. I mean, I guess. Marissa, right. like, Marissa Torme. I remember Torme. being like a child, and uh, I think it was Farrah Fawcett. Oh was, my god. No, she was getting. I remember seeing something like Farrah Fawcett's like 60 years old or something, and I remember being like a like younger kid going. Man, she's still really attractive for being like 60. Yeah. But as like a teenager or however old I was, like that's most teenagers don't see a 60 year old woman and go, oh, she's attractive. Yeah. It's yeah. just not how human nature works. And see, look at this catch, by the way. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, he stole it. He was like a, 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 a baker in the bakery baking bread. <laughs> sure, because bakers are always catching footballs. <laughs> All right. But the, the thing is, John, is like when it comes to like famous people, right. it, it's hard to even really understand because they a lot of makeup, a lot oh, of time. Dude, you can dress up uh, anything to make it look like an anything yeah. else. But like a nice MILF in public, like a good hard, like a good B minus at the supermarket. Yeah. Ooh, that'll make my day. <laughs> a guilt or a milk? A milf, Jonas. Uh, I'm not looking at grandma's, Jonas. There's All a right. difference. You you very well could be looking at grandma's and not even that. I want you. Well, yeah, that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sure Marissa Torme probably has a daughter and they probably she probably has children. Yeah. Same with Aunt Becky. Aunt Becky could get it in a heartbeat. And her daughter is way, way old enough to be having children. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this boy breaking. I am so glad Ooh. we made him the next level star. Yeah, he's goody. And now he, he, he jumps up. He catches it. You know what I hope in the offseason that they sign a boy from college and he's with us next season. Oh my my college homie? Yeah, your college boy dude. Does that happen? I'm wondering. Well, I don't know how the offseason works yeah. in uh, this mode because like when you do a normal franchise, oh brother, I almost you screwed the picture on that one. You do all the offseason stuff. You decide who you sign, who you don't sign, whatever, but we're not it's we're just a player, dude. So we really shouldn't have control over that. I'm not sure how it works. I've never done this mode, so We'll yeah, find out soon. I don't, I don't know. I kind of think that they've kind of like used up all their cutscenes. <laughs> to be honest with they've you, they've used up all their cutscenes. Yeah, scenes. Sorry, dude. I don't think they're just gonna. Scene. Did they just change possession of the ball while they were? Because the other guy caught it, and the guy on the ground was the was the other guy. <laughs> yeah, watch, hold on. You watch never this, been you never been the, 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 the other guy before. Eighty nine catches. Hit number eleven goes down with it. Eleven. Just they like they. It went through eighty nine's hands and eleven was there to get it. Hey man, eighty nine's already fumbled. But uh, yeah, dude, I don't know. I don't know, Jonas. Number one milk for you, woman of certain age, Jonas. I don't like. I don't fawn over celebrities, dude. You told me like uh, that one lady from the Mockingbird movies. Yeah, but like back like when it came out. Like, I don't know about now, dude. I used to think that chip was hot. What's her name? Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, dude, I don't know. Like, Modern day J-Lo. I, like, I think part of the allure back then was like, that she was, like, new to the scene of, like, being... Like, once people are famous for a long time, like, I just start not caring. Really? Yeah, dude. Like, when they're, like... So she was all, like, Ah, no, dude, not the mic! Um... Like, I was like, oh, look at this hot chick. And then she was all like, oh, now I'm famous and I've talked and there's been stuff happening. <laughs> famous and I've talked. Dude. I get you, man. As soon as they start talking, I'm done too. Right. I'm freaking finished. It's just that I'm, my, the, the attraction level I have on someone is purely not physical. If I physically think you're hot and then you open your mouth and you make me like cringe, then wow. like, I'm automatically I'm what, did, what did Jennifer Lawrence do to you, man? How did she hurt you? <laughs> What did she do? She didn't reply to all my letters and flowers. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, nothing. It's just, it's just I, it's too much. All right. Well, that's fine. I'll name off some of my favorite MILFs, Jonas. As I said. <laughs> my, my favorite MILF. That should be like a podcast. It really should. My favorite MILF. Oh, we could have one where we do a different MILF each day and just talk about. My, my favorite MILF. Marissa Torme, 100%. Yes. Dude, did you see Far From Home? She uh, no. was a you did not. She not was amazing. Not a of Torme movies. And what's funny is like you think of Marissa Torme back when like she was canonically hot back in like my cousin Vinny, Vinny days. Oh it, yeah, dude. I wasn't really feeling it back oh, then. Oh, I was feeling it. <laughs> what were you feeling? Yeah. A 1974 Buick Skylark <laughs> convertible. <laughs> I remember that? The two Utes. The two Utes. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> She's like, Impa's attraction wasn't invented until 1977. <laughs> <laughs> 
Of course you know it. And, 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 <laughs> I've seen that movie a whole bunch of like, times. Any more? She, she's like, any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't feeling it then. Yeah, she I love that movie, but that I wasn't movie's feeling so it. so good, dude. But Marissa Torme, boom, hot okay. as hell. J-Lo, man, she's just going to fit in there, all right? Because okay. she, she's amazing looking. She's been amazing looking. Yeah, she okay. will forever be amazing looking. Yeah, but dude, like, here's my thing. Like, what? I think that the... If they're famous, it's not fair because, like, they have, like, an unfair advantage to, like... A hundred percent. A hundred percent. But it's not like I'm going... I can't really follow anybody else around yeah, like, throughout like, their remember life. Remember that lady from Super K, dude? <laughs> yeah, she's, I've been watching her. She saw it. Remember Janice Williamson at the <laughs> supermarket? Yeah. Dude. I saw her on July 4th. Yeah. I've been going back and checking on her. She's very cute. I feel mm, you. She looks sweet. That's the only, like, yeah. Celebrities are the only type of people that we can, like... Monitor, not yeah. stockily, yeah. because they're just oh, 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 this dude is our team's MVP next to you. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> he is a good boy. He, gets, he gets a treat for every game. Halle Berry always makes my list. Whatever. Halle Berry is. Yeah, she is. She's man. a hometown girl, dude. She is. That that helps too. Believe me, that definitely Do you moves. Cleveland helps you see girls in Cleveland yeah. lately. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Being a hot chick in Cleveland coming from that <laughs> that DNA cesspool. Oh, dude, it is <laughs> Cuz it's just Cleveland people. It's just Cleveland people banging other Cleveland yeah, people dude, making was, Cleveland yeah, babies. It's like, it's, like, uh, it's like when the Vikings invaded Sweden. It's like they, they like you didn't get an influx of like Yeah, dude, okay. yeah so it's like a bunch of fish in the same pond they're all going to come up just kind of Like it's like neck it's just under inbreeding but not quite Yeah, yeah dude, dude I feel you. Like, So Cleveland people are basically tilapia 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 <laughs> Wow it's the tilapia pool of America Wow it's the tilapia pool of the Midwest dude the Great Lakes just flounder into the tilapia pool. I got you. Okay. Ooh, flounder tilapia. All right. So Halle Berry, J Lo. Uh, d- 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 is Shakira? Is she up there? Shaki- she's not a gilf, dude. Shakira's old, man. Shakira, Shakira. You yeah. think about it. She was like 28 when she was doing those songs that we she's remember. Like, oh, look nice. He's just song. getting all the touchdowns. Hey, man. <laughs> it's working. It's working. Uh, we ran twice and both times. First time we almost got a safety. The second time they got a safety. So I'm not. I don't be trusting Drake. Shakira's 42. Okay. That's Milfy. Yeah. She could get it still, right? Yeah, but dude, have you noticed? What? Gwen Stefani. Mm. Uh, she's old. Yeah, she, uh, dude, she talks too. <laughs> she talks too much. Dude, she's got. She's got B A N A N A S and stuff. <laughs> I can't. If you release a song about the, the Nooners, dude, I can't do it. Why not, Joey? Oh, look, he's going to redeem himself. Okay. Dude, I just can't do it. Gwen Stefani's 50. Oh, wow, dude. And she could still get it, though. Wow, dude. Just saying. Say Madonna. Uh, she tries to be useful. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give her that. I like, mean, yeah. She's wearing like Puma jumpsuits and has a gold tooth. But you know what I mean? Oh, and that was like 20 years ago. <laughs> she's, trying to, like, she's trying to make it. She's trying to be like the corn boy. Dude. <laughs> I was watching uh, an interview with Dennis Rodman, and okay. he talked about the relationship that he had with Madonna. Oh, he did have a relationship. Yeah, he was talking about it. He said that uh, He's crazy. he was like, I was at this bar in Las Vegas, and then some guy comes to me and says that Madonna wants me up in her bedroom, and she basically just wanted his him to impregnate her. Oh, she just wanted to see? Yeah. She's like, yeah. imagine being at the bar and it's being like, you, like your buddy comes up, or your, your security guy, he's like, puts his hand on your shoulder, he leans into your ear, and he's like, Madonna needs to receive your being son of <laughs> Like, excuse me? <laughs> Yo, that's a good life. <laughs> You're at the bar. And so I just come up to you and I'm like, TNT, you're being summoned for your seed. Please tell and me it's Miley Cyrus, dude. And, and whoever, dude. Make it Miley Cyrus. And I'll it give you. Wilma Johnson from the. Oh, no, no, no. Do the thing and I'm going to give you my, my Miley Cyrus reaction. Okay. <laughs> TNT, someone is summoning your seed. <laughs> <laughs> you get ready. Who is it? It's Miley Cyrus. Uh, oh, oh. I mean, how much does it pay? <laughs> <laughs> Can I use a rubber and she just takes it from that? And scene. All right. Um, yeah, but um, 
I don't know. Would you? Would would you? Uh, would you do the do from with Madonna? Do the do with Madonna? Yeah. Is that like a, 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 a do reference? Like no, I'm saying Madonna taps you on your shoulder and this crazy like town looks. See? Yeah, some guy just walks in the apartment. <laughs> He has a key because it's Madonna. He has a key. I don't know how. Listen, Jonas. Madonna is summoning your seat. Are you going? Are you getting up? She paying me for it? What do you mean, my man? No, no payment, dude. You get the Madonna. I mean, there's implications that, yeah, you might receive some sort of payment, maybe. Is it like 1985 Madonna? No, it's right now. Madonna's like, hey, I need. Look up how old Madonna is real quick. <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> You ageist? <laughs> Are you thinking about it? I want you to think about your answer. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm like this all Is it really better than age? Ooh. 68. Is she 68? No, she's 68, right? She is not. 72. Nah. How old is she? 61. Ooh, oh, okay, yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> I'll be all right, I guess. I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know. I've never, like, been like, oh, 60-year-old lady. I don't know, dude. Honestly, for the chance to just, like, have that story. Like, yo, that's going to yeah, kill dude. at parties. Man. Pure story form. Nobody's going to believe you, dude, but you like, got me sometimes here. Sometimes you have to do something because then you have a story. Yeah. Like, whether it's going to work out positive or negatively, sometimes the story is worth the juice. Yo, and it's one of those stories where, like, you have the enthusiastic, enthusiastic black friend that you can call up. And then you can call Why me. Why have to be black? Because, I don't know, dude. We, em we emote a little bit differently. We emote. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I'm allowed to say these things. We emote. So, okay. like, you're telling, the you're telling the story in the bar. Nobody's buying it. You're like, I'll call TNT right the F now. I pick up. Everybody's like, TNT, did Jonas really F Madonna? And I'm like, hell yeah, that man left dead, dude. I was I F in there. I was F in there. If she filmed it. Yo, son, this dude just walked in the apartment to put his hand. He got in his long limo, dude. It was playing music. He was playing Madonna. He was playing Madonna the whole way. Yeah, was, dude. It could be your lucky star. <laughs> dude, it was just like a prayer yeah, and stuff. Is. She's laying in bed like a prayer's playing. <laughs> this <laughs> this dude like, comes oh, back with you. cone nipples. and <laughs> Madonna, dude. Jesus. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah, see, that's that's a good story. Yeah, dude. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, I feel you. That's what I mean. All right, Hillary Clinton, Jonas. Oh, same story. You get to tell the story. Yeah, what about you, dude? Hillary, go. Absolutely. Okay. I'm gonna it's oh, sh man. It's gonna be a night that Hillary will never forget. Really? She's balling, son. Come on, Jonas. She's balling, <laughs> Jonas. She will be balling on yours. Listen, okay. I know we make fun of women who are gold diggers and only date guys for their money. I ain't mad at it, okay? okay. <laughs> if you want be reversed with Oprah, Amen. Now I'm not even reversed because I'm not like an A plus or anything. But man, trust me, if a chick with some money, look, Jonas, I like money, and I like women, and I like women with money. Mm. Okay. Yeah, diamonds on your neck. Yeah. So yeah. get yourself, get yourself a sugar mama, boys. Wow. Yeah, get yourself a milk fetish. Get yourself. <laughs> What, Jonas? I'm dropping jewels. I was born flex, <laughs> diamonds on my neck. I like morning sex. I'm dropping jewels for our neck. listeners. Jonas. I like more than getting checks. Yes. TNT dynamite. Yes. Mantra. Yep. Diamonds on my neck, morning sex, and checks. In. <laughs> I don't care about the jewelry though. Nah, dude, you got a sugar mama machine. Oh, he freaking slit, dude. Are you kidding me? He, he got up. So right, he already he it. Dude, if I get a sugar mama, Jonas, I'm not gonna ask her to buy me jewelry. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> you don't get to ask them. They just buy you stuff. And she's like, oh, here's a here's a platinum necklace. And you're like, <laughs> I'm not wearing that. I wouldn't even feel comfortable wearing that. But what if? But what if like that was the stipulation? You had to like wear the clothes. What you, man, now I'm worried about the race implications. Here. Why do you want me she's to look a like a player. rapper? She's a black lady too. You, I thought this was Hillary Clinton. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Clinton comes to you with a platinum chain. Here you go, TNT. Wear this bling. Yeah, I'm not going to have this woman laying out my outfits and stuff. Man. <laughs> Trying to make me dress like Trippy Red. <laughs> I'm not 
I'm not doing that. <laughs> she's like, she's like, oh, are you gonna wear your trippy red dress? <laughs> I'm like, wait, why do you want me to look like this? I don't know. It just does something for me. I'm like, wait a minute, lady. She's like, I want. I've always wanted to date a rapper, and you look you're so big and black She's and like, rapper shit. looking. She's like, safe a shizzle for me. <laughs> like, uh, hold on. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna have to this every time. I'm gonna have to like have the bank account <laughs> app on my phone. <laughs> She's like, she's like, you're like, oh, she's like, open the app. I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna see like 47 million. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> for shizzle. <laughs> Jesus. Every man, everybody's got their price, yeah, Jonas. Million dollar man. Everybody's got their price. We did it. We made it through. We, we started out won. with talks about. Hillary Clinton being your sugar mama. We got there. It's not I that think we hard, should man. start with a topic, and at the end, we should just recap our our our. our yeah, this is the milf episode. Yeah, milf, gilfs, age or not, <laughs> to who's your hot celeb, to <coughs> Oprah. No, we didn't talk about Oprah. No, we, we had negative two rushing yards and six hundred seventy pounds. Even Steven, that's how we do it in Miami. Even Sports. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, well, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, we got to do the after the week stuff, yep. so we'll get out there. All right, look at us, dude. All the way to the super-duper Dolphamite Bowl. We're going to find out who we play. Who do we play, Jonas? I don't know yet. So we're going to play <laughs> Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Whoa, Jonas, no, I don't want to play her. I want, I want, I want I to give. I'm gonna show her nothing. But yeah, love, man. You know? Like, look, man. You treat that woman good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, I mean, you she's treat very her frail, good. So you have to. Yeah, you apologize even when wow. you're not wrong. Wow. Yeah. Oh man, we don't we don't play in this Pro Bowl because we're in the Super Bowl. So you get that. You get flowers delivered to her every day with her credit card. <laughs> <laughs> flowers you bought yourself, honey. Yeah, oh, dude, that's nice. Yeah, he sends me flowers every day. Ooh, we got a text from Jack Ford. Who the hell is that? Uh oh, is that the Ford guy? I don't know who. Ford that is. Motors. We're gonna find out right now. Let's, gonna, let's, so it's uh, an F one fifty. It's Mister Ford. He's the guy who created the fifties. Henry Ford. All right, we're gonna upgrade your player first. We're, then we're gonna see. He may be giving you some. What are we doing? We have three skill points, dude. All right, field general, one, strong arm, one in the riser, scrambler. One in the field general. Oh, you want to be a field general? Yeah, I want that to go up to ninety-five. I think that's good. And then uh, I right. say, okay, well, all right. All right. Cool. <laughs> the ability in the zone ability unlocked. Okay, so nice. we'll look at that in a second. Oh, we got more. Yeah, we have three. All right, let's uh let's do scrambler with the remaining two. I want to get oh, that up to eighty five. Oh, out a little bit, huh? I like the scrambler perks because it helps when you're running for your life. And guess what happens? I do run for my life <clears throat> with TNT Dynamite's character. Oh, sh never mind. Well, nope, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. I, we'll, I, we'll, I, we'll, I buttoned. I fat fingered it. Don't worry, guys. We'll, we'll get it on the next go round. All right, so. In the zone ability unlocked. So what do we get to do now? Uh oh, we do we get a new one? Hot route master. Oh, we got the last one, dude. All right, so we can either put in safety valve. Pass with this ability improve the catch rating for all running backs. We don't really use that. No. Pass with this ability receive better pass blocking from the offensive line. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I'm not even asking you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was probably gonna take it anyway. Yeah, you're like, oh, let's just upgrade the running backs. I'm like we don't pass the running backs. We really need protection. Running backs are really important. I'm like, yeah, no. Good. So. All right, man. And let's see. What does T Jack Ford have to say? Gerald Ford. He says, hey, kid, I'm sure your phone is blowing up right now, but I wanted to ask you one simple question. Think back to winning the national championship one year ago. What do you think you did best in that game? Avoid turnovers, avoid sacks, scrambled effectively, played aggressively. Played aggressively. Boom. I played aggressively. I attacked the defense by going for every chance I could. Yes, exactly. That got you through one championship game, and if you continue to play that strength, I'll get you through this game, too. Yeah. Your throwing accuracy deep has went up three points. Oh, I throw it deep. Boom, you put it deep, dude. And we're playing the Falcons in the Super Bowl. Easy rares. And we'll do that on the next one, because that is all the time we have for today's episode. 
please make sure to like, share, subscribe. If you like our stuff, share with your friends. It's the best way to, for us to be able to put more content out. Because eventually we'll just put, do nothing but put out content. That's not ever going to happen. But anyways, throw us in TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are, are out. out.